Good morning, ladies. Welcome to Virtual Networkers, the Friday edition. I hope everybody had a great week. We're going to get started with our elevator speeches slash 30 second introductions. Just a reminder to please keep it to 30 seconds or less. We don't talk about the weather and we talk about who we serve. Um, we're just going to give everybody just a moment to get in here. Before we get started on that, please remember to do the chat box, which is our first last name and email address. Uh, this meeting is recorded and you'll get a copy of the uh, recording as well as a PDF of the chat box once this is all over with. So with that, um, I'm going, um, let me put the, uh, in case you need it, Miss Darlene, because you're going to go first. I did put the slide share up. You're good. So it'll be Darlene and then Marilyn. Darlene, kick us off, please. Remember, you're muted. Poor Darlene. There you are. There I am. Give me just a second. <laughs> sorry. Oops. No sorry. No sorry. Hey, thank you for waiting. Doing the best I can. Here we go. I'm not uh, sharing the screen today, though, but I grew up on a farm and was called uh, to the barn at sunrise one day to help deliver piglets. My job was to sweep the mucus from the mouths of those tiny pink beings so that it could take their first breath. That experience created a permanent bond between me and animals that still has impact on my photography today. My clients say I capture their soul in my photos. I invite you to visit me on Instagram at Darlene.Elkins. Awesome. Piglets, Marilyn and Margaret. Good morning, everyone. Do you know somebody who has a, some sort of habit that is interfering with them having the life they really want, whether it's being at a healthy weight or exercising more or stopping their limiting beliefs? Hypnosis is amazingly effective to use the power of your mind to create the changes that is needed. So if you know anybody who would like a little help, please ask them to call me, Marilyn Copaz at EssentialHealthAndHypnosis.com. Thank you, Marilyn. I'm Margaret and Tracy. Do you happen to know any women who've been married to professional men, uh, those highly successful attorneys, physicians, dentists, and even military? Yeah, those women who have, you know, 5, 10, even 15 years later, still carrying anger and resentment. They're carrying low self-confidence and self-esteem. They're in pain, but you wouldn't know it because they've got that beautiful mask on and every day they go out into the world and everything is fine. If, and they're sort of hard to spot, as I said, but if you know of one, I am Margaret Martin. I have a redesign your life program that will help them heal in months what took me years to accomplish. You can find more at margaretmartin.com. Thank you, Margaret. Tracy, then Mary Beth. Happy Friday, ladies. I am Tracy Earhart with Judy Glenn Incorporated, and we are a promotional marketing company. Well, what does that mean? That means that we can help businesses, loud women businesses, who might want to promote themselves in a slightly quieter way by putting something very substantial in the hands of their potential clients and the clients that they serve through logoed merchandise. It's a reminder of who you are and what you do so they can reach out to you when they need you. I'm Tracy with Judy Glenn Incorporated. Thank you, Tracy. I'm Mary Beth and Hannah. Hi, it's Mary Beth with sacredgrove.com. And as an animal communicator, I had the privilege of talking to a woman she brought in her puppy, about a year and a half old, but I asked her, she mentioned a dog had passed and I asked her about the dog and she burst into tears. So I was able to talk to her and comfort her because the dream she had with her dog who passed was very hurtful. And I was able to explain she was helping this dog get into his new energy body and, and it was so healing for her. So we did talk to the puppy, but it was very cool that I talked to a, a, a puppy who was young and a dog who had passed and the person that connected me to both of them. Thank you. Hannah, then Susan Driscoll. 
Good morning, everyone. I am Hanna Brøtur. I'm a graphic designer and visual brand manager, and I'm also a teacher of graphic design to solopreneurs like yourself. If you want to learn how to do it yourself, you are warmly welcome to my school. If you need customized and professional graphic design and visual branding done for you, I would love to co-create it with you. I live in Norway and work globally. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. Susan and Sherry. Good morning, everyone. I'm Susan Driscoll, and I'm an intuitive mindset coach. I work with women who know they're meant for more. That involves getting more in alignment with who they really are, and they're ready to do something about it. So we work together on getting past their self-doubt, getting clarity, and starting to take action so that they can go from where they are today to where they're offering more of their gifts and talents to the world. And my contact information is in the chat. Thank you. You're welcome. Sherry, then Laura Clark. Is your business strutting around like the proverbial emperor with no clothes? Have you left it and you exposed to legal risk and danger? It doesn't have to be that way. You and your business deserve better. Using flat rate and subscription fee models that take the fear out of legal fees, I can help you clothe your business with the contracts, policies, and um, other protections that help you protect your empire. I'm Sherry Andrews, small business attorney and author of Smooth Sailing, a practical guide to legally protecting your business. Uh, visit SherryAndrews.com to connect with me and learn more. Thanks, Sherry. Laura, then Susan Shelton. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Nice to be back and see everyone as well. Um, I'm Laura Clark, founder of Chief Executive Management, located here live from Monroe, New York. And I help support entrepreneurs with handling the day-to-day -day management of projects, operations, and team members. And together with my team, we help entrepreneurs like yourself reduce your workload, maximize that productivity, all while we bring systems to your goals, virtually supporting your office while you do business. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, We're glad Laura. you're here. Good to be back. Not at a running meeting. Susan and Laura Templeton. Did you know that next week is World Service Week? Good morning, I'm Susan Shelton, wellness consultant in Alexandria, Virginia, partnering with USANA to pr provide the best of the best to support your wellness journey. But I love that USANA is so much more than supplementation, skincare, and healthy foods. Service is our middle name. So uh, from meal packing at convention to our true health foundation to donation opportunities for customers and associates on a monthly basis. Next week, I'll be volunteering at a mobile food pantry. I'd love to hear you'll be doing next week to make a difference. So let's schedule a coffee date. Good job, Susan. Uh, Laura, then Martha. Oh, Laura, I can't hear you for some reason. It doesn't appear that you're muted. Is that better? There you go. There we go. Okay. Have you ever witnessed a strong, confident woman become flustered when it's time to do their 30 second message? It's painful to watch, isn't it, right? Um, hi, I'm Laura Templeton from Bradenton, Florida, and I get to help incredibly talented women, business owners, and professionals find the right message and confidence that connects. If you know an organization or an event planner that brings dynamic speakers to their members to help them become better communicators, introduce us today. It's time to ditch the pitch and start connecting. I'm Laura Templeton with 30 Second Success. Good job, Laura. Martha, then Stacy. Presuming there's only one Martha. You're it. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Martha Kendler. I'm principal of product accessibility, a business consulting firm. Uh, our vision is that it's good for businesses to expand access uh, to their products and services by understanding their audience and the uh, dynamic and diversity in their audience, learning successful tips and tools and techniques to implement in their business and grow from caring about it to being competent about it. And I'm so excited to be here with you, uh, women and leaders this morning. Martha, we're looking forward to your presentation. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Stacy, then Rachel. Good morning, everyone. I'm sure you know, as business owners, that as soon as you start your business, all of your stuff comes up. So all of your doubts and your insecurities and your uncertainties, 
I work with business owners, teaching them about their own unique human design. We dive in deep to the details of design so that we can save them all of those months and years of doubt and uncertainty and just grow the business that they want to grow um, that is true to who they are in their own inner truth. So we get them to a point where they can put in a sustainable amount of effort and still have all those business breakthroughs that they want. Um, if you are interested in knowing more or you know someone that I can help, you can reach me at stacy at custombuiltlife.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Stacey. Rachel Van Demi. Hi, ladies. I'm Rachel, and I'm a website designer for spiritual entrepreneurs who want to transform their business into an online empire, whether that's through one of our website templates, if you're DIYing, or a custom designed, I help business owners show up more confidently online. I'm glad you're here, Rach. Uh, Debbie, then Connie Joe. Good morning from Baltimore. I'm Deborah Keevan of Highlander Press. I have a dream to help women who have a dream of becoming a, a published author. And I want to help them from idea all the way through publication and beyond. So here at Highlander Press, we work in Baltimore, but we grow authors globally. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Connie Jo, then Judy. Good morning from Atlanta. I'm Connie Jo Miller of Enigma Bookkeeping Solutions. I help so solopreneurs get rid of dread, overwhelm, and the 3 a.m. sweats by taking care of the money part of your business. No more late nights and weekends struggling to get caught up on your books. No more shame and worry because you feel behind. I will help you feel confident and secure that your books are up to date and your business is financially on the right track. You'll sleep like a baby and wake up refreshed and ready for your day. Check out my website and schedule a call with me today. My links are in the chat box. Thanks, Connie Jo. Uh, Judy, then Mo. Hi, I'm Judy Kane, and my business is Aligned Consciousness. I help people rewrite subconscious self-limiting beliefs. People come to me for three main reasons. They either have emotions that get in their way whenever they think about certain topics, or they've got conscious goals they're working hard to hit and they're not doing, it's not working, they're stuck somehow, or physical symptoms of stress because that stress is caused by beliefs. Judy Kane, Align Consciousness. Thanks, Judy. Mo, then Suzanne Moore. Just realized I wasn't muted the whole time. I yeah. am flying in from a workout and making my cereal because the one thing I love to do is work out. Just kidding, I hate working out. It's the worst thing ever. Eating healthy, oh, it's such a drain. If you can relate to this, here's the thing. I am Mo Cooper, I'm a fitness professional and a health and nutrition coach. I take something that's really daunting for women who are ready to take care of themselves after taking care of everyone else and turn it into something that's doable, fun, and makes your life lighter. So no one ever said, oh, I can't wait to go on that diet. We don't diet. We figure out a way to make your life feel lighter, better, more joyful. When you're ready to take care of you, contact me. My link is in the chat. Mo Cooper, Mo Mind, Body, Soul. Thank you. Thanks, Mo. Uh, Suzanne, then Jennifer. Good morning, everyone. It's good to see your smiling faces. I'm Suzanne Moore, and I help independent entrepreneurial women focus on the two to three things they really need to focus on in order to build their business and bring in revenues instead of feeling like they're stuck in an endless game of whack-a-mole with their to-do list. I would love to connect with you. My coffee link is, or my coffee date link is in the chat. And um, I also am the uh, author of the upcoming book, Hang On Tight, Learn to Love the Roller Coaster of Entrepreneurship. Woohoo! Yay, Suzanne! Jennifer, then Kate. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, I'm Jennifer Restman, your business content writer. I'm here to help you build your website, uh, blog, and lead page content online. I'm with Voyu Business Writing here in lovely Central Florida, writing for your 
for your um, content. <laughs> it's making content is a big undertaking that many just can't keep up with and do it consistently. Um, I'm, I'm here to help you with that. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn and at boyu.com. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. You got it out. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> hey, then Suzanne Belvista. Hello, I'm Kate Barnes, Clarity Coach for Creative Solopreneurs, and I use my 16 years as a professional organizer and certified productivity coach on also my training as an energy practitioner and human design consultant to find your natural rhythm and break through the BS rules that you might still be following. So who do you know who wants to break free from the chaos, uncover a system that works for them, and have their business excel and profit. Kate at katebarnes.com. Thank you, Kate. You look lovely and refreshed after your beach vacation. Suzanne, finish us off, please. Yes, my pleasure. Good morning, everyone. Have you ever been at a point in your life where you're faced with a tough decision or a next step and you just looked to the sky and wished God or spirit or universe would just drop the answer in your lap? Well, it turns out we have more support than we sometimes realize. Support is all around us. So my specialty as a spiritual teacher and karmic astrologer is to help wake that divine voice of wisdom inside you up and help you reconnect to the resources in your environment around you, not just the tangible things you can see, but that whole spirit team that's on the other side supporting you. So if you would like to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching, or you know anyone going through a life transition such as divorce or career change that involves some big decision-making, just connect them to me. I am Suzanne Bella Vista at the Soulful Living Project and my information is in the chat box. Have a great day. Thank you, Suzanne. All right, we're gonna switch gears. Um, Sherry, do you have the bio for today? I'm hoping, yay. All right, so Sherry's gonna introduce our speaker and then Martha will take it over. Martha, if you could go to about 8.40 a.m. Eastern and then we'll open it up for questions for you. So Sherry, then Martha, go ahead. Martha Kendler started her business, Product Accessibility LLC in 2020. Martha holds certification as a certified professional in accessibility core competencies. She is energized about helping businesses reach more people by implementing strategies to increase accessibility. Martha has successfully launched a disability inclusion and awareness program and digital accessibility projects that enrich employee culture, customer experience, and business outcomes. Martha connects people and resources to gain synergies and build highly productive organizations. Recently, Martha spent four years as an impact leader of Northwestern Mutual's Employee Resource Group for Disability Alliance with 400 members, earning recognition as a best place to work for disability inclusion. Most businesses build for and market to the general public. A description of the general public ends up being a composite sketch that often resembles too few of us. Martha has stories and will share how solving for one real person's needs can impact thousands. Martha will also introduce us to one or two resources to help run your business and your community of family, friends, and neighbors. Take it away, Martha. Thank you, thank you. And what I really enjoy how you guys start uh, this meeting. Uh, it's just, I feel like I know a little bit about the audience and uh, just a lot of talent in the room and talent that's, that is gonna overlap with uh, with my business this morning. So I'm excited about that. So I'll open with a personal story about one of my first inspirations to uh, start my business. And that is my younger sister, Rebecca. So growing up, Rebecca has intellectual disabilities. We we referred to those really it also as as every five or seven years would come along, you know, the way you would refer to intellectual disabilities or special needs, or, you know, always learning disabilities. I mean, there's so many phrases that change over, over time. Um, but Rebecca got, um, somehow found herself with a product from the National Library of the Blind, and uh, she was able to read books. So one of her disabilities was really um, uh, being able to read and have any sort of understanding of what she read. And so when she got this 
a tape recorder that would that she had uh, in our home. She would get tapes of books that she wanted to read, books that I was reading that she could never read, and having that understanding at the end of it, she would get those and then play them over and over. And then she would have said, I've read the book. I, I know what the book is. And it inspired my parents to um, read every one of her texts so that she could re-listen to the text in order to get through uh, high school and into college. And today she is an assistant teacher in a Head Start program, and she's been doing that for a couple of decades now. So uh, what inspired me about that was really the product uh, was meant for, it was created from the National Library of the Blind. So it was the sense that you couldn't see that was a limiter to receive this this product, but, but they didn't do that. So by designing for the blind or one type of limitation, but not limiting the access to your full audience, uh, like my sister, Rebecca, her vision was fine, uh, but this product was, was so helpful. And you fast forward to where we are today and how many of us wanna work out or multitask and we're reading an audio book for pleasure or or we're taking in content because we have so many busy lives. And so now audiobooks are almost ubiquitous in the world, right? Everyone can find them. And, um, and so that, that, that has been my inspiration for product accessibility. So we work with consumer businesses to reach more of their audience by implementing accessibility strategies. So primarily a business co consulting. Um, today, I've been asked to really focus on uh, websites and um, Websites is probably one component that I've been learning in my certified professional uh, uh, experience in education. Uh, the topic of uh, accessibility, a topic of disabilities is, um, is probably you know, 17 categories around accessibility assistive tech, different types of models for disabilities, uh, types of disabilities, all of that. So we're going to take all of those topics and really start honing into website just just for today. Um, so I'm going to you might see me going back and forth between the monitors and uh, you guys will help me if I can share some of my monitors when I when I get to that, because I want to go over some uh, website accessibility and and spend a little time talking about it. I'm going to share my uh, share my screen when it comes to color blindness. I thought that might be an interesting uh, topic to go a little deeper as to what what color blindness is and maybe talk about color selection for your websites and font selection for your websites and then move over to demonstrate a couple of tools we can all use in managing our websites, whether for ourselves or with whoever, and I, I think there's some talent here if we if if we're looking for a whoever manages our websites. Uh, so if that sounds good, that's what we'll do next. All right. Uh, so there are uh, four principles of um, accessibility for website, and they're perceivable, operable, understandable, and robust. And this is a worldwide uh, acceptable topics uh, in, in for web designers and web leaders. And I'd like to define each one of them. So the first one is perceivable. Can, can the website be uh, taken in by uh, the senses? So if we can all think about what are the five senses, right? There's sight, uh, there's sound, touch, taste, and smell. Spoiler alert, the website really doesn't have much of a connection with taste or smell. Not, not yet. So we're going to focus on the other three senses of sight, sound, and touch. And you want to make sure that if your website only can be seen but not heard, uh, or heard but not seen, or isn't tagged in a way that if an assistive technology were to be used, like a, a screen reader, um, you're going to miss people perceiving the content in your audience. So that's a little bit of background around perceivable. Operable is, um, 
can your audience use the computer? Um, my, my favorite description of operable or uh, uh, a story about operable is a friend of mine who is um, blind really uh, uses their uh, keyboard and their computer is really in a completely different room because they're not really looking at the key, looking at the screen, right? They're using the keyboard and they're hopping from navigation to navigation. So headers, header one, header two, header three are all levels of content on your website. Those are signposts basically for screen readers to go from topic to topic. One connection is if you've ever heard of search engine optimization to get your website found more or connected more, that search engines are blind. They're not people. They're going through your, you know, they're, it's a artificial intelligence. So let's think about, oh yeah, it's artificial intelligence. How are they finding us? What are, so they're looking for keywords. They're looking for keywords in your headers. So, the, so the, the process by which you keep your websites organized for readers who need that access to make sure it's operable is the same technology that's helping those search engine optimizers find you better. So it's just good for your business to make it organized and make it easily navigable and operable. The third principle is understandable, and that's, ma that's making sure that your content and interfaces uh, can be comprehended. Um, so make sure you, you speak in simple terms and that you have links for jargon and, and, and terms that, that someone new or, or less, uh, less of an expert um, can actually learn and connect with your content. Uh, so simplify the reading and vocabulary level. Um, avoid termino term terminology or that are complex or break it down into understandable components. And the fourth principle is robustness. So robustness is about ensuring combat compatibility with assistive technology. And so that is making sure that your content can connect with screen readers or um, um, I think it's generally screen readers because I'm thinking about one of the key terms that is in robustness is ARIA. And we're gonna see that term when I have one of our websites tested with us this morning. And it stands for um, let's see, accessible, rich internet applications. And an example of ARIA would be if you had a table or a drop down, an expandable or a, um, a collapsible menu, when it does get expanded or it, go, or it is collapsed, that the text lets people know that there's more to be had behind uh, the term that you that you see on your website. So that is uh, giving more signals to the user that there's more at hand with your site, or that there's sub labels or sub levels in that area. All right. So let us um, let us switch over to. Um, color blindness, which would be in the area of perceivable. So I'm gonna see if I can share my screen. Help me out on how best to do that. You should have, you should have a share screen button toward the bottom of your screen, it's green. You have to move your cursor for a bar to show up first and then you'll see it. I see my mute, stop video, more participants and record on the computer, reactions, um, and then leave. Don't leave. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let me just double check our security. Yeah, I'm just going to do it one more time. Okay, try it again. Do you see anything yet? Does anybody else see the share screen button? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> 
All right. No, yeah. it's just you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking even in my... Should be between chat and record. And Jill, record. can you make her a co-host? And she mm -hmm. that, that might kick that feature off. Yeah, I see, ch I see chat, then reactions, then record. Oh, hold on a second. Let me get you... I'm in the I made you a co-host. Let's see if that helps. And I will expand mine. So let's see. Oh, I'm seeing more choices with expanded chat. Share screen. There you Yay. go. All right. So this is a section uh, within my certification that I'm sharing with you. Uh, I used DQ University uh, when I was studying for my exam. And um, there are many types of colorblindness, but this is, a, this is an example of, um, we're gonna look through what we all see. If you have normal or, or average, fully robust uh, color, uh, differentiation, this is what you would see. Uh, there are four circles here. One has the number six in the center. Uh, over to the right, there's a number eight. On the second row, there's a number 45. And then the fourth circle has 56. And we can, you know, text me if those are not seen to you and we can help you out. Um, so I'm going to switch it if you have red and green colorblindness, and that's the most normal. This is what's happening on your website. I always get blown away by that because uh, I've heard red, green, and I just, you know, I never really understood that. So I wanted to share that with you today. And then if it's all colors, which is very rare, you're going to see um, just everything's on gray tones. So I'll bring that back up to the more robust. So I think you want to make sure that your color is, um, well, actually, let me just keep going through because I think these are pretty, pretty uh, impactful. So this is Return of the Red Baron. You see this is really, um, it feels dynamic if you were picking this as a color palette. Uh, the red is really strong. The black is really strong. Um, but let's take a look at uh, if you've got color blindness, those really are, are very similar tones. So even if you're using all neons, all, all neons can actually, uh, they're not going to be as perceptible if they're right next to each other, just like the red and black. They're both very strong colors. Um, so we'll take this back to the typical view. And this one is, I think, the most important for us as project managers um, to make sure that when we use legends for our information, uh, that we go beyond just using colors. So this is a chart of uh, the courses, red course, yellow course, and green course. And they're letting you know that the red is advanced, yellow is intermediate, and green is beginner. But the only indication here of those levels are color. So the tip would be to make sure that we add more indications than just color. So from a colorblind perspective, remember red and green was really dy a, a, a dynamic change. This is what you're sharing on your status. Uh, when you have the most common colorblind um, uh, uh, as a disability. I think that's pretty impactful. So the tip would be here is that you create, uh, and I think you may see this on like Trello boards or, or other things that there's either symbols or there's patterns, there's different patterns that you use. So you could do, let's take this back to the original view, uh, red or yellow or green, and, and then add, uh, add patterns to them, and that would be helpful. Um, all of these, I think for, if you wanted to learn more on this, you could go out onto the internet and search for colorblindness. I use this because I, I think this is just a nice, a nice uh, way to demonstrate this. It has some interaction, but you can find this on Wikipedia. Um, it, 
it, it's readily accessible as to what it looks like. And there are websites that can check for colorblindness. So there are simulators, there are tools that are free uh, that are out there for you to test your website on how that would appeal appear to folks who have colorblindness. I also wanted to um, share tips around fonts. So there are many fonts uh, that can be problematic or uh, cause eye strain for, for many individuals. Uh, and uh, so the most uh, clean, you want a clean font. And so I wanted to share five or six fonts that are typically the cleanest fonts to use and they're readily available. There's, there's a few that are, are, are kind of tough to find, but sans serif, Arial, Helvetica, Lucida Sands, Tahoma, and Verdana are all, um, those are fonts that are clean. So I know it's super fun to have uh, wavy fonts and they're eye catching, right? But they, you know, be, just be um, cognizant to use those in, in uh, a small dose or offer, uh, offer other ways to take in that content. So it's not that you, you don't want it um, flashing, underline bold and, and, and italics going all out is really tough for eye strain and really, um, really tough to read. Uh, so certainly limited and, and judicious and, and perhaps finding other options for people to take into in that content. Um, I'm gonna switch over. I know we're just, we just have a minute, but I wanted to show you um, how my website looks on a tester for accessibility. So I'm gonna stop sharing it to the, my right spot. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna share. This is a free tool called Wave. It's it's very well known in my industry. And I'm going to, I took my accessibility statement and I've typed in my website and it's gonna show me how accessible my website is. So this is something you can do or ask your web designer to do. And it's, I, I'm not a web designer, um, but I found when I used it, I could go over to the left-hand side and it's giving me some hard errors. You can see there's some contrast errors. I like blue, my signature color is blue because it works in red color blindness. So that's a big, and, and my font's super simple. Um, but you can see, I still have some alerts. Uh, here's that phrase, aria. Uh, so I have some suggestions and structural elements. And so I'll point one out, like this first one here is, is wondering, is that a header? It, it's trying to read it as a header. Uh, this is my home page button and it's struggling with that. Under accessibility, I, um, I, I have a sub label. And so it's suggesting that I add an ARIA rich um, uh, feature to this. Um, and here it's, it has my header one for my accessibility. Here's my sub, my sub level, which is, I'm, I'm playing with a QR code these days because we've all been using QR codes and I thought it would be fun uh, for, for communicating differently with, uh, with folks. And you can see I, they're saying I missed a header. 
So I had a header one, but I named all of these header threes. So I'm missing a header two. And so if a screen reader's trying to navigate to headers, it, it would just wonder, am, are am I missing something? Did I, did I not give a clear navigation? And so uh, here's my confessional, my accessibility statement, you know, needs still a little bit of work here. And this really helps. I can go and fix this in my, I use WordPress. I go into WordPress. I putz with that page, I come out to wave and I recheck it to see if I'm making it better and better. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get zeros all the way through here, um, but, I, but I wanna share my closing remarks is, we care about our customers and we, we wanna be better for them. So for me, the journey is going from caring to competence. So I'm sharing, I'm not completely competent, I care. And I'm on the journey and helping businesses become more and more competent. So that is where I'll close my remarks for today. Awesome. Thank you so much, Martha. Well, we'll go ahead and open up the floor for uh, any questions about the accessibility. Rachel, the web designer, has her hand way up. Go ahead, Dyer. This is so relevant to me, obviously. Um, thank you so much, Martha. This is something that's been on my to learn list for quite some time. Um, but I found there's so many resources and I get stuck on this rabbit hole of like, where do I actually learn? Um, but my question is around images and alt text um, and predominantly answers around SEO. And it's basically about keyword stuffing. Should someone actually be describing what is in the image? So, funny cat with animated smile versus coach for blah, blah, blah. Yeah, um, when, you, when you take the image, it, it might actually have image one, two, three, four, right? Like somehow the image is, just has um, some sort of assigned nomenclature to it. So the first thing is to make sure the name of the image that the, the document has, has a better, better name to it. But the alt text is, it goes beyond that. So if you just want to have something that is the logo, you know, product accessibility's logo, I don't need an alt text because the name of the image is, the, is descriptive enough. Um, but what you're describing, you would want alt text. Uh, so if you're putting a photograph to communicate something and it's a photograph about a, um, an, an animal, right? This is a, an octopus. And, but in the alt text, you really wanna say, uh, this is a picture of an octopus. It really demonstrates how we have too, too many things to do and we wish we had many hands to do it with. You know, explain. <laughs> why you chose the octopus, like, great, it's an octopus. I'm totally losing you on why you chose the octopus. And so uh, like a friend of mine uses dolphins as their signature animal and, and she's a legal, uh, a, a legal uh, expert. And she wants to really talk about that dolphins go for, are very friendly and they, they have successful solutions to their negotiations. Well, she needs alt text to, to add the dolphin is really her spirit animal for her business. Mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. That's a great question. Hannah, did you have any questions as a graphic designer? No, I don't have any questions. I have been taking many notes and I have heard about some of these things before, but I, it's a very good reminder. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Kate, go ahead. So just yesterday, I discovered how to use the closed captioning for um, from YouTube. I was experimenting with Otter AI and um, it became clear that it was quite a cumbersome process, even with those jump starts. So I'm wondering if you have recommendations for the closed captioning aspects, your favorite favorite um, apps to use, or other other tips. Yeah, thank you, um, uh, and thanks for for being curious about that. Uh, my first tip is keep keep doing that. I think. 
what Kate might be uh, have experienced is they're not they're not they're not perfect, and uh, many apps will allow you to put in keywords, keep people's names in there, so that it recognizes the jargon ahead of time, and they do a, it does a better job of recording and translating. Um, many software, uh, Google's. I mean, I don't have one that I'm going to say is the best, um, and uh, so my tip is still use them. Um, when I first started, I, I was offended on behalf of individuals with disabilities when closed captions still made really terrible mistakes and really embarrassing mistakes. Last names are just beyond recognition. Um, but as I've gotten in this industry, I feel like there's a softness that people get it, that, that, um, that it's not perfect, artificial intelligence will get better and better over time. So my, my best tip is just to keep using it, but, but oftentimes you'll see the transcript along with how it captioned. So you can go in the transcript and listen along and find and replace if you've got names, uh, you can go in and correct it as much as, as you want. That can take, you know, give yourself one hour and make it a little bit better if you don't want to actually go through all of it is to set a time limit to make it an improved experience. Um, and the other would be if you, if there was a transcript for your content and you had it closed caption, offer both closed both close caption and then put the transcript out there. And there are sites that will audio, you know, audio read that, you know, that transcription. So that's that's another way of adding multiple ways to access your content. That's an awesome question. Just a quick follow-up. How important is the punctuation addition to closed captioning for accessibility? I think I think it's marginally helpful. <laughs> it's it's amazing how far it's come. Again, you know, my opening story was recorders and where we are in audio books and, and, and how, how amazing. I just was wa watching a commercial the other day of a 50 year old being able to have a conversation that he has low hearing. Uh, it was for the Google phone. Uh, and, and while his son was talking to him, it was closed captioning the conversation. So People think that low vision, low hearing, uh, you can really hear enough. And he hadn't had a conversation with some, you know, I'm getting choked up over this, this, this commercial. And um, so that's, that's new technology. So it, we're getting better. The industry is getting better and better. That's awesome. Gosh, this has been such a great discussion, Margaret. I know you have a question, but I do have to move on. I'm, okay. If you want to drop it in the chat box though, Margaret, I think that would, that would help. Um, we're going to move on to announcements. Um, Martha, thank you again for this wonderful presentation. Indemnably, some people will have some more comments as we go around the room, so just to warn you. <laughs> um, but the announcements, once again, is for, are for members of Virtual Networkers, no matter what chapter you're in. Uh, please do an announcement on what you're promoting or what you need help with or a shout out. Please do one or the other and then use the chat box for any other additional details or the thing that you couldn't say. So I'm gonna go first and then I'll have Marilyn go after me. So for me, um, and quick announcements, just want to shout out to those folks who couldn't make it today. Anne, uh, Kelly and Tammy, sending you all love. Thank you for letting me know you couldn't be here. Uh, we have an exciting week next week. On Tuesday, we have our virtual coffee date party. Again, welcome to all members, all guests. It's Tuesday, starts at 11 a.m. Eastern. It goes till 1230. In the chat box, I drop the link to the LinkedIn event page as well as the Facebook event page. It'll be this Zoom link, the one that you use for Friday. Uh, please invite folks, even if you can't make it, invite people anyway, share it on your Facebook, share it on your LinkedIn. I'd love to see a lot of people there uh, so we can have some fun virtual coffee dates. And then also for our, next Friday is a members only meeting. So please don't invite guests. Um, come and we'll just have an informal meeting Wear your pajamas, silly hats, whatever you want to do. Um, we'll meet and have a good time for that. So that's the end of my announcements. I'm going to go to Marilyn, then Margaret. Okay. So shout out, Martha, fabulous presentation. Learned so much. I mean, I learned so much and I 
took a lot of notes and I want to go to some of these websites and learn more. So thank you. Um, and to the amazing women that I've had uh, coffee chats with in person, like Susan and other ones that I've got scheduled, um, thank you so much. I really am looking forward to having more coffee chats because I want to learn more about your businesses and your and you personally. And then the only other thing is I do have to run. I've got a client really soon. I've got to drive to the office. So I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Awesome. Have a good weekend. Have a great weekend. Margaret, then Tracy. Um, my, it was just a quick um, thank you uh, to Martha for the presentation. On Monday, I had the opportunity to speak to uh, Lighthouse of Pinellas Switches for the visually impaired and blind. And it was the whack upside the head that, yes, the chatter that matters needs to be an audio book. And, you know, doing different th things differently to be able to allow people to connect with us in different ways. So thank you for that reminder again and for the lovely information about websites and colorblindness. Um, I have announcements. The first, foremost, most exciting announcement is my sister's coming today and I'll get to see her for the first time in a year and a half. Yay, Margaret! Oh, yes, I'm emotional. The other one is uh, last week I was on, had the opportunity to be on a podcast interviewed about the book and my new program about ex-wives. I encourage you to listen to it because at the end I tell why the angels have told me that this program is so important and it's on Synergy Connection Radio and I'll put the link in there. And um, let's see, one other quick thing is, oh, I have a letter that's going out about marketing for my new program and I would appreciate two or three volunteers to read it and give me feedback. If you would let me know uh, or put it in the chat, I'll follow up with you. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. weekend, everyone. Enjoy your time with your sister. That's wonderful. Uh, Tracy, then Darlene. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Yeah, Martha, very insightful. I, I wouldn't even have thought about the color blindness. That was a great point. We're going to review our site because our colors are teal and raspberry. Uh-oh. So, but Jill always challenges me to do a little show and tell. And I just want to share with you all something as simple as a lip balm. This is just our lip balm, but it is gluten free. Mm. And our industry, you know, these are all these things that go out in the retail world and we all become more aware of it. Our industry in the promotional products world really tries to stay on top of those things. And, uh, you know, I wanted to test it out myself to make sure it was something comfortable, it felt good. And so I'm testing it on some. So if anybody has a gluten allergy and you'd like me to send you one, let me know and I will pop this in the mail just to see what you think of it and get your responses. Good job, Tracy. Thank you for show and tell. Uh, Mary Beth and Hannah. Oh wait, I did that wrong. Darlene, then Mary Beth. Hey, come on, I disappeared. Um, uh, Martha, wow. Um, in a, in a world where we need so much more inclusivity, thank you for expanding my mind today. Uh, that was, that was great. I am so excited to, um, launch an introductory offer to my card of the month club. Yay. I actually got it done. Um, I'm so excited. Uh, so just a couple benefits of having a card of the month club is that you have greeting cards on hand. So when you need the opportunity, it's automatically there, delivered to your door. And it also keeps the art of handwritten cards alive. And to this group, um, to, to all virtual networkers, I'm offering uh, two free gifts, a free five by seven print of your choice and um, a list of quotes, phrases, endearing comments to include in the blank greeting card. So if you sign up by June 25th, those gifts are yours. You get three cards a month. Uh, there are two options, standard and deluxe. And uh, I've put all the information in the, um, in the chat box for you. There's a link that takes you to a landing page that gives you all the information and how to be in touch with me. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Darlene. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Darlene, thank you. I'm sorry. Boy, I'm losing it here at the end. Mary Beth and Hannah. <laughs> OK, I'm going. Oh. <laughs> oh no! I'm hearing this. Uh, 
uh, I'm really laughing. Um, I'm I'm so happy. I'm I'm in my 60s, and my brother had Down syndromes, and the Down syndrome, and the change in the language, and the treatment, and the view, in my lifetime has has just warmed my heart and to see how far even we're coming in the um, internet. Yay. Yay. So um, I'll, I'll put the, my offer or my ask it here. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little choked up too. So thank you. Thank you, Mary Beth. Hannah, then Susan Driscoll. Uh, Martha, thank you. That was a great presentation. I took two pages of notes here and I may send you an email uh, because there was something about these fonts that I was wondering about. Uh, so you may hear from me. <laughs> um, I am planning my new course in my Brutter School of Design and you may hear from me regarding that. These, this is not sales conversations. I'm looking for people to volunteer for market research interviews because I want to learn how I can best serve you by teaching you Canva. So you may hear from me and if you do, please, please, please <laughs> answer me. Thank you. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you, Anna. Susan and Sherry. Martha, thank you so much. So many small adjustments that can make such a big difference you helped us see so thank you for that i'm just looking for coffee dates so i'm going to put my link in the chat and have a great weekend thank you susan jerry then laura clark so thank you so much martha um it was exactly what i was looking for out of the presentation and um martha and i talked yesterday and she sent me uh a um newsletter i guess a pdf kind of thing that she has created um that has a lot of links to resources that she can make available to anyone here if you want that um please just let her know that you want it so she can send it to you um because i looked at that and i was like wow there are so many things to click on here and go look at and check out and so um my announcement is i highly recommend you to ask martha for that um document Awesome. Thanks, Sherry. Laura, then Susan Shelton. Yes, thank you. That was very informative. And thank you, Martha. All things I, I totally did not know or realize um, that are great to have as, as extra in, information. Excuse me. I'm tired, too. Uh, <laughs> lots going on. But I do want to say that the blue is one of my favorite colors. So I was interested about that, how you said about the blue color one of my favorites. Everyone have a great weekend and no announcement for myself. Thank you. Thanks, Lois. Yeah. Susan, then Stacy. I absolutely love that presentation. It's something I just, I'm sorry, I was not aware of because I subscribe to my website. So it's just not something that was on my radar. And to hear what you had to say was, was eye-opening for me. Thank you very much for that. And I'm grateful that a lot of our colors are in the blues also. So um, I had an awesome coffee date with, um, with um, Marilyn this week and it was in person. It was felt so good to be able to meet in person over a table sipping coffee. Tea. Well, it was iced tea because it was pretty hot. Anyway, we had a lovely time. I want to do more coffee dates, whether they're in person or, um, or, or, virtually. So I'm going to put my um, link back in the, the, the chat box. And then I'll also include uh, the link to the newsletter. So I look forward to seeing you one way or the other. Have a great weekend. Thank you. I know we're at the top of the hour. If you can hang with us, that's great. If you can't, feel free to drop your announcements in the chat box before you leave. Uh, Stacy, then Rach. Um, okay, Martha, I have to, I think you'll find this funny, so I have to share. You talked about headers, and I always thought they were just, like, for formatting, but, like, they chose your format, your font, and everything, so I normally just use them willy-nilly, so just knowing that they actually serve a purpose other than, like, this is what someone thinks I should have for formatting, great learn for me, and when I redo my site, I'll have to look at that. Um, as far as announcements, I'm still looking for podcast opportunities. Anyone who has a podcast about business that I can go on and talk about human design. Thanks so much. Thanks, Stacey. Uh, Rachel, then Connie Joe. 
I'm super excited to announce that I relaunched my website template Beauve, which is packed full of features, um, but not too many that it's overwhelming. Um, and it's perfect for coaches and heart-centered service-based businesses. So I've already put the link in the chat if you're interested or you know someone who's wanting to DIY their website. Oh, awesome links. I love it. Connie Joe and Judy. Uh, first of all, thank you, Martha. Awesome presentation. I learned so much. Thank you for sharing with us. Um, I put information about Monday's virtual networkers meeting in the chat box. So um, be sure to check that out. Um, I love coffee chats. I want to know how I can help you, who I can send your way. So I'd love to have coffee chats with um, anyone here. And a, a reminder, same day as coffee chat party next week, June 15th, is your second quarter estimated taxes are due. And I have um, an awesome um, email uh, newsletter that goes out, reminders for those. If you want to get those reminders from me, just let me know in the chat box. Thanks, Connie Jo. Uh, Judy Demo. Thank you so much, Martha. I, my, my website's supposed to be ADA compliant, but I suspect a lot of things you talked about are not in there. So uh, time to review that. Uh, I would love to have a coffee chat with anybody, but particularly coaches. I help coaches help their clients be successful in those coaching programs. Uh, they can send them to me for an hour, get rid of the blocks you've already identified, go back. I don't do behavior, accountability, strategy. I just do the beliefs. I put something in the um, chat. All right. Thanks, G. Mo, then Suzanne Moore. Hey, everyone. I'm just visiting, of course. I'm usually in the Wednesday group. So thank you for welcoming me into your energetic space. I love seeing all these faces, how different everyone is. Someone mentioned about Jill showing her more vulnerable side. And I think that's really what this is about. It's a safe space to share our vulnerabilities. And um, that's not an apology, Jill. <laughs> you know, and, and, and so thank you for having me here. I'm usually working out at this time, but I got to work out two hours earlier. So I'm excited to be here. I want to shout out to, is Kelly Lutman usually in this group? Yeah, she's, she's ran off with her husband. Okay, that's good. We had a coffee chat on Tuesday while I was driving in. And as we were finishing, I was passing her exit. So I have to post the group, a picture of, I stopped at her house and we got a picture together. And it was super cool. That's awesome. So I just want to thank everyone. Of course, you know, I'm here to help you live life light. i put my Calendly link in the chat. I've saved the chat because there's a tremendous amount of great information in there from all y'all. Martha, thank you so much. I'm here. My human design is to bring people together and all these little things help us connect even better and to include, be more inclusive, not exclusive. So thank you so much for your presentation. Thank you, Stacy, for doing human design. Thank you everyone for being here. I just thank you for letting me be here. Thank you so much. We're glad you're here, Mel. Come back anytime. Thanks, I will. Suzanne, then Jennifer. That's Suzanne Moore, then Jennifer. I put my announcement in the chat. Martha, thank you. That was wonderful. I really appreciated it and learned a lot. Awesome. Thank you. Jennifer, then Kate. Yes, it was super interesting. Um, and now I might have to go back and redo a bunch of stuff again on the website. It never ends, right? Um, but my dad is uh, colorblind. And, you know, he never complains that he can't read whatever, but I know he talks about fonts a lot and keeping it simple and stuff for him to be able to read it. So that's very interesting to take into account. So thank you for talking about that today. And I don't really have any announcements, although Debbie, that's so exciting that you're going to have a, an event for your um, graduate school program. It's all over and done and congratulations. And uh, <laughs> That's great. Um, I hope I can uh, attend your, your event. Um, and, you know, I just love your referrals. And if you want to work with me, if you want to take some of that uh, content creation off your, off your task list, but you know it's important, you know you need to still um, create a lot of content for your business, look to me. I'd love to help you out. Uh, you can reach me at boyu.com or find me on LinkedIn. Come on over to LinkedIn. It's great. Thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> Kate, then Suzanne B. 
If you love taking handwritten notes, but you hate the mess and you're frustrated when you try to find the information, I would really love for you to take a two minute survey and do some market research to identify the top three challenges for people taking handwritten notes. I suspect what they are, but I really want to use the data. So the link is in the chat. Uh, thank you so much in advance. And thank you for those who have already taken the survey. Thanks, Kate. Suzanne and Debbie. Hey again, everybody. So I'm gonna give you a quick astrology tip because my offering this week is my Soulful Living Planner. So if you are wondering, I just wanna let you guys know we're right in the middle of eclipse season, which means we're having new moons are about fresh starts, full moons are about releasing. And when you have an eclipse season, it's like on a turbo boost. Uh, so we've just finished up a two week period where we had our full moon, so whether you knew it consciously or not, we've been calling it really being called to release, release, release those old beliefs, those old patterns that no longer serve us. And yesterday was our new moon solar eclipse. So we're turning the page and launching our next chapter, but life isn't quite that neat. So you might be feeling still the release and I'm inviting you to lean into the next chapter. So all you need to do is ask yourself, what do I wanna do next? Set an intention and ask your soul and your spirit team to guide you. If you want to learn more about astrology and how to customize it to you, my link is in the chat box. All right, see you next time. Thank you, Suzanne. And then Debbie. Martha, that was an incredible presentation. Thank you so much for sharing very practical things that we can do to make our services uh, more accessible. I just want to give a shout out to Hannah. I put a link in the chat box for my virtual uh, college gra grad school graduation celebration. You're all invited. Um, might be hard on our European folk, but I want to give a shout out to Hannah because I have been demonstrating because of her Broder School of Design. I've been sharing how to create graphics for our book launches. And so yesterday I actually designed our marquee poster for our live event. And so I'm kind of knocking everybody's socks off, but it's because of Hannah's class, like school, it's amazing. So if you're not already in, really consider joining. So thank you and have a lovely weekend. Thank you, everyone. One quick thing before I let you go, I sent a very important email this morning at 7.15 a.m. Eastern. If you have not received it, go get it. If you have any questions, let me know. We can talk about it next week at the member meeting if you have any, any questions. With that, I'm going to take a nap. Love y'all. See you later.